Viewers and subscribers, welcome back to the coach's desk. Trusting that everybody is doing well and everybody is doing all right. So, people, coach of Brianna Williams, the new coach. Yes, man, he's having high expectations for his charge going into the new track and field season. Yes, he's delighted. And he said that she's doing hard work, she's dedicated, and she has shown in training that she set her sight on lowering her personal best this season. So in other words, people, Gregory Little believes that Brianna Williams can run 10-7 this season. You understand? 10-7, 10, 7, 10 8 thereabout. That's what he's looking forward to. Now, Brianna has a personal best of 10-94, right? Uh, she joined the Titans Track Club uh, led by Little and Freighter. And this is after a, what you'd call a very rough season between her and Trinidad, Trinidadian um, Olympian Otto Bolden. You know what I mean? She made the switch, which a lot of fans were saying that she should have made that switch a long time ago. But nothing happens before it's time, you know, people. Nothing happens before it's time. Now is the time, and let us see if Titans Track Club, Titans International, can get her to that personal best, can get her back. To a, a, a situation where she is probably in the top three um, when national trials come around. Now, what Gregory Little is saying is that they have been working assiduously to improve uh, Brianna's race flaws because they would have identified some flaws. And the fact of the matter is that she is responding well to the rigors of training that they are currently. So. Little stated that she is doing well. Um, they are working on some technical part of her race and she has been putting in the work. She's adapting to the program. She's looking pretty good so far in training, according to Little. But everybody who knows track and field knows that you know training is good. It's good to see the athletes doing well in training. But it's when it comes on to the race time and the mental aspect of it shipping. That's where you're going to see the difference. Now, he continued by saying it's a tough it is tough for her, but she's trying and she's doing the work uh, that she needs to do. Basically, he's saying, I'm trying to get her a little stronger in the last part of her race, which many persons out there would have alluded to, that the last part of her race is the weaker part of her race. And what that is basically what they are working on so that she can be among the top female sprinter. There are a plethora of talents out there, female talents out there. And Brianna has to step up her game in order to be amongst uh, the top. Especially when you look at the likes of a Shelly and Fraser, Sherika Jackson, a Elaine and a Kemba Nelson. It's going to be one little tough battle for her. Brianna is 20 years old, all, albeit. Um, and definitely she's looking forward to go into this season and conquer she's confident and she's excited she loves the training so far and she's enjoying it and once she masters the program then i believe and that's what little is saying that she will do very well man that, hey listen the man did not say that she will do well enough he indicated that she will be doing very well what are your thoughts on this one people brianna williams adapting to the program expecting to run fast in 2023 Share a comment down below in the comment section. Until next time, people, stay safe. Peace out.